tank and I'm very excited about it so get your number three bag out open it up and let's see what's inside we need this little jar this is gonna be the fish tank two strips of styrofoam here not sticky a piece of greenery everyone got a different one so I wonder which one you got this is what mine looks like we have some little blue and white bubbles, a little container of shells and fish rocks. So this kind of looks like candy, but let me tell you, it is not candy, it is rocks. So if you try to munch on these, it's not gonna taste very good, but they do look like the nerds candy. So just thought I'd let you know, don't eat it. Last thing you need is two pieces of craft foam paper. And a couple extra things you are going to need is your roll of glue dots again and some water. We can get the water at the end, all right? Press pause and I'll meet you back here. Okay, so for our fish tank, we are going to need some fish, right? So this craft foam paper, a yellow piece and an orange piece are going to be what we're gonna use to make our fish. So come on in a little closer. I'm gonna show you how we're gonna make our fish. The first thing we need is some scissors and some craft foam paper. So let's move this out of the way. The first step we are going to make our fish. So I'm going to use one of my pencils. You can use a marker pencil, whatever. I just like to do that uh, so that it's easier to cut out. And I'm gonna make some fish. So everyone makes fish differently, but this is how I'm gonna make mine. I'm going to make kind of like an egg shape. It's mostly like a circle with a point on it. And then I add a triangle to the bottom for the tail. You can do it in two pieces like that. Or, if you know how to do this, kind of hard, you can do it like that. So this piece of paper, this piece of craft foam paper, fits about three fish on it. We're gonna cut out, make sure we're not cutting these long strips, okay? These long strips, these are gonna be for your fish tank. We're gonna save those for later. So let's draw some more fish. You can draw any style of fish. You can even make an octopus, a jellyfish, you can do a clownfish. You can do a starfish. You know what? Maybe I'm gonna make a starfish, actually. There we go. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six. I can probably fit another fish here. So I drew my fish. Now it's time to cut them out, okay? So go ahead and press pause and draw your fish onto your orange and yellow paper and press play again when you are ready. All right, I have my fishy friends here and my starfish. Now let's start to fill our jar. So the first thing we wanna do is take off the lid like this. And we're gonna put our fish inside. So once our jar is open, we are gonna put in our fish rocks. Go ahead and press pause and put your fish rocks in. The next thing we're gonna put in is our shell and our fish. All right, go ahead and put in your shell and your fish into your fish tank. Okay, the next thing we're gonna add is our piece of algae. And this one, it's probably gonna stick out the top a little bit. 
now that I have my rocks, my seashell, my algae piece, all we have left to add is our bubbles. I'm gonna open this up very carefully and dump all of them in. Some of them might get stuck in the bag. You can try to reach in, get them out, put them all in there. Okay, so my fish tank has all of the goodies in it. It just needs what? That's right, some water. So go ahead and add water up to into your jar, but only fill it up to this line here, okay? All the way up here. You don't wanna fill it all the way to the top. That's gonna be a little bit too much water. You're gonna wanna fill it mostly to the top, okay? Once you are filled up with water, we're gonna take our lid and pushing the foliage down, we are going to screw it on top, twist it on. And these are leak-proof jars, so if you put it on nice and tight, it should not leak. And here is our fish tank. Here, let's see. That is looking really cool. This is gonna go into our house that we are going to make. Okay, so a couple more steps that we need for our fish tank. Okay, I'm gonna put it on its side here. As you can see, the bubbles float up to the top and the rocks stay on the bottom. Here, let's, we're gonna need our two strips of craft foam paper and our glue dots. So for our glue dots, we are going to take one at a time. We are gonna rip them off and put them all around our fish tank, leaving some space in between. So that you have about four or five glue dots going around the lid of your fish tank. So I have mine like that. So let's peel off the tape, press it down, peel off the tape. Go. It's very sticky. Peeling off the tape again. And if it's coming off with the paper, press it back down harder and pull it off. So we are all sticky around there. We are going to take the thinner strip, this blue strip here, and we are going to wrap it all the way around your fish tank until it meets together like this. So now we're going to take our scissors and trim off the extra piece and I'm going to use one more glue dot to close this back up. Press it on there. And there you have the top of my fish tank. Now. Go ahead and press pause, and it's your turn to add your glue dots all the way around the lid, and then stick on your craft foam paper. I'm gonna trim that to make it even. Perfect, go ahead and meet me back here. All right, so now that we've done that, we are gonna take our other thicker piece and add it around the other side. So this time, if it's not too even, you can trim this to make it a bit straighter. So we don't wanna cover the whole fish tank like this, right? Because that's too thick. We're gonna do it down here. So when we do our glue dots, once again, one at a time. Put them around the bottom of your fish tank. Right here, right at the bottom. Not up here, all the way at the bottom, okay? Because like I said, let's not cover up the clear part with our craft paper. 
kind of hard to do holding the glue dots at the same time, but you take your time. Okay, so here we go. We have glue dots going all around the bottom. It's nice and sticky. Let's add our purple part on. So like I said, we're not gonna do it all the way up here. We want it to hang off the bottom a little bit, like this. See how it's half on the top and the half is on the bottom? And then we're just gonna wrap it around. Again, sticking it to each glue dot until you get to the end. And we are going to trim. And there we have our beautiful fish tank. All right, I'm really proud of my fish tank. I hope yours looks really great. I'm excited to put this inside our house, which is what we're gonna do next. So I hope you had lots of fun making this with me today, and I will see you again next time. Bye.